Okay. Yeah. 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 We, we talked in OTAs about adjusting to a new long snapper and field goals. How is that process going? Yeah, I mean, we're still just trying to get as many reps logged between now and the season starts. I mean, it's kind of a race to get better at this point of the year. Um, so being able to go through these couple weeks here, headed into joint practice and preseason, all those reps are going to be uh, really valuable for us just so that we go into the season as comfortable as possible. But, yeah, we're still building that trust, building that chemistry. Obviously, you have a lot of young guys who are kind of trying to compete for those roles on special teams and kick coverage and things like that. How much energy have you noticed from those guys in this last two days of practice? Yeah, it's a lot of energy. I think we got a lot of great leadership um, in the special teams department. I mean, you got guys like Brandon Bolden going into year 12 who's really made a lot of his bones on special teams and having guys like him, having guys like Amir Abdullah, a bunch of the other guys, like they kind of set the standard um, and the, the energy that they practice with and the, the effort level they give, they kind of set the tone and then everybody else kind of falls in line. And if you're not hanging with those guys, you can't hang. Um, and so, yeah, it's going to be awesome to see. Uh, I loved our unit last year and I'm really excited about the pieces we got and I'm excited to see who kind of stands out and um, what we can do on teams this year fan who, who wonders, um, you know, uh, what's, what's aside from it getting to you quickly in terms of the snap, what else goes into making it a good snap or a good quality snap? Yeah, I mean, you're looking for the location. Um, you want it to be in the same place every time where I'm comfortable catching it at. Um, you want a tight spiral similar to, you know, a receiver trying to catch a ball from a quarterback. You want a tight spiral so it's not moving all over the place, hitting weird parts of your hands. Um, and then on field goals, right, you want the laces out every time um, so that I don't have to spin. I can just put it down, and Daniel can see the ball for a long time. Um, so, yeah, speed, location, accuracy, spiral, all those things. And that's all stuff that we're, you know, looking at in our room, grading off of and everything. I have a lot of uh, new players this year. What's the early impression, of, even especially a quarterback, what's the early impression of the new, new guys coming in so far? Just like as guys or as Watching practice. I mean, what, are, what are you seeing out there the first couple days? With them? Yeah, I don't. I don't really know about the football aspect of it, but as guys, everybody's great. Everybody's awesome to be around. Um, yeah, I mean, like Jimmy Hoyer and um, Aiden, they've been great to get to know, um, get to talk to all those guys. So, I, I can't say enough about the quality of person we have in the locker room. Um, talking to them at the lunch room, getting to know them in the locker room, weight room, all that stuff. Everybody's awesome. We don't have any divas. We don't have any head cases. We got a lot of people that are uh, fun to be around, competitive, motivated, but like also just regular people. This is not a facetious question, but and oh, well. not that you would ever do this. Here we go. But could you ever get to a point where you could just close your eyes and get the snap? Uh, no, I would say that would be a little risky. But I mean, in terms of the <laughs> where it needs to be, like, you just put your hand right you know, where it needs to be. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, the, yeah, it's a good question. I don't know, maybe that'd be a fun little drill. I used to do this, uh, I used to do this drill, like, when I was a rookie, where they had these, uh, like, goggles, like, swim goggles, and, uh, they would, like, hi like uh, took a Sharpie and, like, highlight colored them in, so it was, like, a horse, like, with the blinders on, so it was just like this, so you really have to, like, get your eyes to the right spot, so we would do, like, a bunch of work on the jugs and stuff like that. I used to do some crazy drills when I was a rookie. They'd be having me catch, and they would, like, throw socks at me and stuff like that as, like, distraction drill, but I never really went full blindfolded. <sighs> I don't know about that. Next time Devontae comes up here, you ask him if he can catch a pass blindfolded, and if he can't, then I can't. <laughs> you, uh, you, you, I know you do a lot. You practice your drops a lot. You document some of them on social media. Where's the weirdest place you practice drops this offseason? Oh, that's a great question. I've done them in, like, uh, air, like airport terminals before. Like, had, like, a long layover, like, two, three-hour layover, and just find, like, an empty little section. I'm just, like, walking, you know, back and forth, just kind of doing my little drops. Um, that's a good answer. I did them on a boat one time. Um, I mean, you just got to be creative when you can. Um, yeah, I would say air airport's the worst, because people uh, look at you the whole time. They're like, what's this guy doing? Um, yeah, I did it, uh, like, I was staying at this hotel down in San Diego this summer where I was training, and there was, like, a little courtyard, but, like, you don't want to do them in the room, because, you know, somebody might be in the room below you taking a nap, so you want to be courteous, so it was one of those hotels, it's, like, a little courtyard all the way around, so I was doing it on the balcony, and there was, like, families, like, down there, like, having lunch and stuff, like, people, like, hanging out, and they kept, like, tapping each other, like, what is that guy doing? 
and I'm just doing my little drops. So. Follow up on Jimmy, since it sounds like you got to know him as a guy a little bit. We've had Devontae in here. He said he was surprised that he's funnier than, than, than people think. Uh, Max yesterday said he's more competitive and he was talking trash and after practice. Any, anything about Jimmy, that any interactions you've had that surprised you? Yeah, I mean, he's just easy to talk to. Like, he's a very down-to-earth, uh, normal guy. Um, and, you know, we can sit down. Like, yesterday, me, Jesper, and Amir were sitting there. We were talking about, like, aliens. You've seen all this UFO stuff that they're talking about. We were discussing that, just kind of getting everybody's thoughts. And he was, like, sitting down, like, oh, what are you guys talking about, aliens? Oh, yeah, I got a couple thoughts. Um, I don't want to, you know, like... I don't want to tell you anybody's personal opinions on aliens. That's kind of like a private matter, I would say. But, uh, yeah, he was fully participating in the conversation. He's like, yeah, let's go. Like, let's talk about this. What are your thoughts yeah, on aliens? Your it's personal. <laughs> <laughs> Something's got to stay private, man. I can't give you all the keys. What do you think about aliens? I think so. You think so, yes? It's just, see, it's like it's not even a conspiracy anymore. Like, it used to be like, oh, you, like, aliens were the conspiracy. Now everybody believes in aliens. It's like kind of the lame take, I feel like. Like, like believing in aliens is like no longer the hot take. Like, believing that the aliens are the cover up, that's the hot take. But that, yeah, could give me can yeah. But what's the cover up? What's the cover up? I don't know. Military tech? I'm not sure exactly. It could be a number of different things, but why, why would they tell us about the aliens if the aliens are real, you know? Time travelers. Time travelers, I like that. Is me coming back to haunt the Raiders of the past? <laughs> uh, I went to Oppenheimer. I didn't get to see Barbie, but there was quite a few people walking through with the pink outfits, ready to go to Barbie. Yeah, but I went to Oppenheimer. It was heavy. Yeah, it was heavy. I mean, it was a, it was a, it was not one of those movies you go and show up and like, you know, sit back in your recliner, have a couple popcorn, you know, just kind of enjoy the movie. I felt like I should be taking notes. It was like history class, bro. I was like, I was like googling stuff during the movie. I was like, who is this? I had IMD pulled up the whole time. I'm like, this actor, who's this scientist? Like. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was a lot of dialogue, and, like, Christopher Nolan, you know, is always going to mess with time, so you're going, like, forwards, backwards, all that stuff, but, yeah, it was good. I thought it was good. What'd you think? Oh, that was great. Oh, you went? Oh, did yeah. you go to Barbie, too? No, but I did see the... <laughs> Don't lie. See the, you went to Barbie, that's fine. I did see the costumes there. It was, it was, it was half and half. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dressed up like Oppenheimer and went to Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> What else is new? <laughs> so, softball manager in your future, or is that something that you're going to... Manager, so you didn't like my play. Look, I dropped one foul ball, one fly ball, and all of a sudden I can't play softball anymore. Did you, I, I love the guy. He's, he's a great guy, but we had some tough pitches in the home run derby. We were trying to dig a lot out down there. The good news is, though, about the softball game is that me and Daniel hit the same number of home runs in the derby. I was a little worried about that because, you know, it's, it's competitive. You know, we've got a little, you know, back and forth going on in just about anything. And so if one of us would have hit seven and one of us would have hit six, it would have been really chippy. So when he had six, that was a long 30 seconds for me. Like, his, the last 30 seconds of his home run derby, I was nervous. Because if he would have hit that seventh one, he probably would have just stopped and just pointed at me. Are you guys good? <laughs> cool. See you guys.